Hello everyone, welcome to the recent and hot Salesforce interview question series by CRS Info Solutions. And uh, today we are going to speak about one uh, interesting point. It's not an interview question, but it is interview related question. Like how can I prepare for the Salesforce interview? So let me tell you now some information about the same and let me tell you some answer about that. If you are preparing for the Salesforce interview, then uh, the most important thing is you need to understand what actually the company's JD is, job description. And uh, according to that, the things should be prepared. People in the market randomly take any questions, randomly start preparing for any scenario. So please note, if you do any kind of random preparation, then uh, it is never going to help you to crack the interview, to get the success in the interview. So the first thing is you need to understand the market, the, the company's expectation and understand what is the JD job description and according to that you need to prepare. So suppose if the job description says that the candidate should be having good knowledge about admin, then you need to have in-depth understanding of admin concepts like reports, relationships, security, uh, the automations like process builders, lightning flows, workflow rules, and also various data management tools. Like for example, we need to work on the scenarios. Let's say for example, data loader and uh, data loader, uh, data import wizard, etc. Next, apart from that, if they ask about the information related to developer, then uh, you can prepare very well with the concepts like trigger, FX classes, work on the schedule class, batch class, working on the DML, SOCL, SOCL, and various other useful things which is required for any developer interview. And suppose if they're asking some kind of advanced level development activity for you, then you can prepare for even the interview preparation. You can also try for the, uh, you can go for the interview preparation with integration scenarios, advanced development scenarios, and work on lightning web component, some kind, sometimes a lightning aura programming. These things you should prepare very well. And uh, specifically, if they mention that they are looking for a Lightning developer or they are giving some information about Lightning in terms of the job description, then Lightning experience knowledge, Lightning web component, Lightning aura knowledge is going to be absolutely mandatory for you. So this way, by understanding the JD, you need to prepare the things. Second, once you got the clarity about the JD, then how you should prepare? So you should spend 90 to 95 percent time only on hands-on and you need to do lots of practice on the real-time scenarios, real-time problems, various project activities and a little bit theory in this case uh, also will be suitable. When you do this kind of work, then actually you can get some good results in the interview and uh, you can properly give the proper performance, like good performance in the interview. And apart from that third thing is uh, you should also keep in your mind some information about the company so what that company is uh, doing and uh, some information about the company related things having some idea about the projects companies the work domain business domain this can be also helpful for you in some cases because if you know about the company they will feel that you are having more interest in that company and uh, you are more positive in terms of getting the job so this way guys you can actually work on these three important factors to make your entry into the salesforce job market do work on this very well and uh, good luck for your job. For a more such useful content for your job, interviews and uh, Salesforce market, do subscribe to the channel. Let's meet in the next video. Code.